Georgia Women's Sabre National Team member Teodora Kahiani. Still working on it. <laughs> um, Teodora, you've been a three-time All-American here at Penn State. This is your fourth year. But how does your training between here at State College differ from your training in Georgia and with the, the Georgian national team? Yeah, there is a big difference, actually, a very big difference, because when I go back home and train uh, for the competitions in Georgia, all I train is for myself. Here is a team, like we are Penn State, and then we just do everything together. And then that's the biggest difference, because when I train back home, it's just like, my own self, my own result, and I only care about my own mistakes. And now, when I fence for NCAAs and everything, I care how other people are fencing and my teammates, and then I have to check how a pay is doing, how a foil is doing to make sure they are all doing well. So it's it's a team, team thing. I can't imagine fencing individually because it's not individual. I mean, I know, let's say someone is having a very good day on NCAAs, I'm like more like fired and I'm like, I can do this because my teammate is working so hard and I can do this, you know? But when I go into competitions, it's like, I blame myself if I make mistakes and it's all about like individual. So individual and team is very different. And how about the actual training environment? You know, here at Penn State where it's a, it's a Big Ten program, mm -hmm. Division One level, you have a ton of great resources. Um, how does the coaching, the the resources, or even the schedule, the training schedule, mm -hmm. differ between you know here and in in Georgia? You know, when I was in Georgia and training there, the difference was that um, from the beginning, while I was going still in school and high school and everything, I did not have time to organize, so I would just practice the basically same time as here. But then when I like graduate the school and I go over the summer to train or over the winter, I mostly take the whole day and train maybe six hours or however, however like it works for me. And, and how would you structure that that time? Obviously, there are changes from the beginning of the season to the end, pre-competition, post-competition. But, but generally, how did you structure, did your coaches structure your training in Georgia? Um, you know, uh, my coach and I actually have, like, sit down and just, like, write the competitions and see where we are, like, they are able to send me for the competition. And for those competitions, they just have, like, okay, to go to this competition, now we have two months. So then we just, like, work for this. And then if I have to, because I never have, like, I'm always here in the United States and in Penn State working out. So they mostly, like, are on the, on the phone call and just, like, letting me know you have to go to this competition. So it's mostly, like, me training here because it's been like what, like four years I haven't trained much back home so to be honest I don't really remember but like when I was back back home the difference was I was I used to be in the gym a lot more because we don't have NCAA restrictions and then I could train as much as I wanted because I was only doing fencing and like not much studying because there was like not much I, I had to study I was getting ready to come here and as a Saberist, you work directly with Coach Glan, I imagine. Yes. Uh, your teammate, Karen Chang, talked to us about her favorite part of working with Coach Glan is the strategy and, yeah. and how he's so good at strategy. What, what are the biggest takeaways you get from working with Coach Glan? Um, you know, it's actually very funny because he, Wes, loves to plan everything and have a strategy as Karen said and that is the biggest challenge to me because I am a very emotional person and when I fence I get very like oh my god oh my god I'm winning and like it's just my emotions all get like um, messed up I would say so I think that's the most challenging part but like I just love how supportive he is he can just tell you he knows exactly when to say what. He always tells the truth and that makes me the happy. He's not gonna tell me that I had the good day at the competition just because I need to be like nurtured or just because I need to be like, said like, oh, you're a good girl. No, he's not gonna say it. He's gonna tell me that you did horrible today and it was horrible today. But that's what I love the most because I go to him and I ask him to tell me the truth because Otherwise, if I don't hear the truth, I can't perform and I can't grow as a fencer. So I think just him being honest and him telling us everything like detailed makes the best. Like I never had the coach that would like go like in detail and worry about me that much. And it, like he's just awesome. I love him so much. Awesome. Great to hear that consistency <laughs> between you and your fellow Sabre squad. <laughs>
good luck applying that this year. Thank you.